Tailor-made freestyle is undoubtedly the most contentious of the two diss recordings Drake released against Kendrick Lamar and crew for a number of reasons. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. The fact that it's back to back without a K-Dot reaction, the usage of artificial intelligence to mimic the voices of Snoop Dogg and Tupac, and the references to Taylor Swift to elicit a response from the Compton lyricist are all factors. All of this sounds remarkably similar to 50 Cent, who is arguably the largest, and most successful troll in hip-hop history. Furthermore, the G-Unit mogul expressed in some unexpected ways that he truly believes that things should end here at least in terms of the boys' rivals. Okay in my professional expert opinion on this matter, leave this man alone, 50 Cent shared on Instagram this weekend, with this caption on a clip of this diss seemingly talking about Drake himself. I've seen this movie before, it will not end well. You disagree okay, then where is your ST it boy, putting an apparent finish to things by criticizing Kendrick Lamar for not having released a rebuttal track yet. Hip-hop is currently in a chokehold thanks to Drake's leaked diss response to Kendrick Lamar, Future, Metro Boomin, and what seems like half of the contemporary rap scene. In addition, the discourse river is rushing with responses from innumerable admirers, other rappers, and well-known people, even if this song isn't even formally available for listening yet. Because of this, there is still a good deal of ambiguity and mistrust about it, which seems like a deliberate decision given that the main reasons for this dispute are the fans and the culture, not the numbers. Whatever the case, 99% of the evidence points to Drizzy being present. The general consensus is nice, and the tape is clear. Consider these two diametrically opposed responses to the Drake leak, which both appear to think it was a fantastic performance. LeBron James, a seasoned competitor, comes in first. He started using the owl and fire emojis on Twitter, and in a subsequent tweet, he added this, nothing like two heavyweights doing what they do best. For the love off sick the sport. This is especially odd as the young Akron native co-signed Kendrick Lamar's provocative song, like that. Despite LeBron being quite friendly with both, we wonder if Drizzy feels like this balances things out or if he didn't appreciate that compliment at all. However, 50 Cent is arguably the master of rap feuds. In contrast to LeBron James, he posted the allegedly leaked Drake diss and emphasized that this is a blood sport rather than a competition for the love of the sport. All you ninjas got smoked by a light-skinned NA, Fifth captioned the clip. While y'all better get high as a motherfucker and come up with something. On his earlier statements on this entire dispute, he had stated that, for reasons that are perhaps not very understanding, he wished to speak with J. Cole after the latter apologized to Kendrick Lamar. Niggas leaking they records when we speaking directly. Rick Ross did not take long to compose a rejoinder to the jabs Drake threw at him in his leaked diss track, which included references to Future, Kendrick Lamar, and numerous other people. Flows copy and paste, Weezy gave you the juice. In addition, it seems that he completed the project in a few hours and sent it to DJ Academics for a live stream premiere. The song, purportedly named Champagne Problems, features spoken word asides from the bars and a clip of Drizzy referring to Raze as his favorite person to rap with. Another white we had to park when they hang with the crew. He says that French Montana received a cease and desist letter from the six odd. We ain't never wanna be a nigga anyway, nigga. That's why you had operation to make your nose smaller than your father. Which is why the Maybach music group Tycoon unfollowed him on social media. In addition, a lot of people are posting their opinions and having wild reactions to this on the internet. I don't follow you, nigga, cause you said the motherfucking cease and desist the French Montana, nigga. It seems like things went south fast between Drake and Rick Ross, even though they had a ton of collaborations and seemed to be supporting each other at every turn. The biggest boss's signature luxurious raps cover a lot of the insult, while there are a few additional attacks and subs scattered throughout. You said the police nigga hating on my dog project. Stepping with a size seven man's on. Ever since Kendrick Lamar attacked Drake on his song like that, which he co-wrote with Future and Metro Boomin, fans have been waiting impatiently for an answer. The Toronto-born singer has primarily remained silent on radio thus far. Now, though, a video titled Drop and Give Me 50 that purports to be a new Drizzy song is circulating on social media. He seems to be making jabs at Rick Ross, Metro Boomin, Kendrick, and other people in the song. The only problem is that AI might have been used to develop it. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. He seemingly rhymes, calling Metro Boomin out by name. Like your label boy, you in a scope right now. He also allegedly fires back at Kendrick. He even may have addressed J. Cole deleting his own response to Kendrick and apologizing. I don't care what Cole think that that shit was weak as fuck. First one, niggas in they feelings over women. On Future and Metro Boomin's new album We Still Don't Trust You, Drake has taken additional flack. It seems like a sap Rocky and The Weeknd are taking aim at the Canadian singer. Follow-up seems to be equally as heavy as the one that came after three weeks ago, when Future and, most notably, Kendrick Lamar made fun of Drizzy on We Don't Trust You. Which you heard? 
I smash before you birth, son. Rocky seems to be rapping on show of hands about dating Drake's baby mother Sophie Brussox prior to her giving birth to their kid, Adnis. Flacco hit it first, son. Still don't trust shoes, always us, never them. He spits. He also appears to throw shade at Drake's for all the dogs LP. Heard you drop your latest shit. Funny how it just came and went. <laughs> when they got leaks in the operation. The Weeknd, who featured on We Still Don't Trust You multiple times, also seems to be venting his frustration on his ex friend in the song All to Myself. I think and we never do the big talk. They shooters Mac and TikToks. Got us laughing in the Lambo. The song's lyrics seem to be about Drake's unsuccessful attempts to sign The Weeknd to his OVO sound label in the early years of their collaboration. He appears to be taking aim at Baca Not Nice, an OVO sound signy who is active on TikTok as well. Baca, who frequently serves as Drake's security dog, was once taken into custody for human trafficking. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comments section and most importantly subscribe. See you.